Hey everybody, welcome back to my shop. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the TSO Products MTR18 Precision Triangle. So I'm gonna be going over what this triangle can do, or uh, it actually is a square in the shape of a triangle. I'll explain all that in a few minutes. I'm gonna show you the set, and I'm gonna show you the capabilities of why you should get the set. So let's get in a little closer so that we can dive into this and I can give you the rundown of all the multitude of things that this can do and why it's really beneficial to me and my shop and probably will be in yours as well. Okay, so before we go any further, just a quick little disclaimer. This is a sponsored video, but that does not at all affect my judgment or cloud my vision when it comes to showing you the tools because I work to bring you the best possible tools and the most precision that you can get out of these tools. I recommend only what I use and what I've tested and bring to you so that you can see what actually works and what doesn't work because I don't just put stuff on here for you to buy so I can make money. It doesn't work like that. So this is the sustainer that holds the set. So this is made by uh, Tanos, which makes Festool Sustainer. TSO gets it branded for them with their logo. And you can see right here, it says Tanos, that's who makes the sustainer. And they get it in the blue that all the rest of their tools are made in. So let's uh, start off with the, the set. It's Kaizen foam inside here, or Kaizen foam. I'm still not sure how you say it. Um, but I have it inside the sustainer. I'll give you a little close-up of that. This is all the stuff that it comes with, and I'm going to be demonstrating all of these pieces here in the set and explaining everything as I go. Now, if you purchase the set, you will get the triangle, and you will get the Kaizen foam holder with all these parts. You will not get the sustainer, and you will not get this clip. These are two separate purchases. This clip is very important, and I'm going to explain what it is in just a few minutes. Bear with me, we have a lot to go over, and I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible. Okay, so let's start off with the triangle or the square. So this is the MTR18 triangle, and what uh, this has is embossed on here, laser etched markings. This is all aluminum. I believe it's aircraft grade aluminum. Everything is extruded perfectly straight on all sides, and you can see that I can check my table and my pork bench is still dead flat right there. This is a longer surface, so this actually helps you to check longer distance which actually lets you know uh, if you are dead flat or not because you have more of a surface area to cover. So one of the cool things here about this is you can test your own work if you have a pork bench. You can put uh, bench dogs into the pork bench. This set actually comes with some dogs and I'm going to show you how that works later. But so you can put the dogs in the, in the pork bench. Here it comes with different sized dogs. That's a new one put them anywhere on the bench and you can actually check to see if you're square. And that is dead on. See, there's no rocking in there, so I know that this is square. I can flip it over here and check in a different direction here by moving these doors to this side. You can move this down a little bit, check a greater area, butt it up against those doors, butt it up against there, and you can see right there, there's no rocking when I move that back and forth. So now I know that my pork bench is absolutely perfect, which helps me to know that when I did this pork bench with the PARF guide system, the Mark II, then it was perfectly engineered and everything was 90 degrees and the way it's supposed to be. You purchase the sustainer separately, but with the set, you get this Kaizen foam with all these parts. This piece right here is the protractor. That will go on, and I'm gonna display it, in a few minutes and give you your angles that you need to cut with your track saw so that you can use that actually uh, kind of like a speed square only better because I'm going to show you how to enhance that. This is um, an aluminum extruded bar that's going to go on there. I'm going to show you what that's for. These pieces right here are the angle braces. I'll show you what that's for. Very important. You got a small parts tin right here. It has all your pieces that has everything to connect all these parts. These heavy duty knobs right here, they actually screw into the dogs. So you can actually secure them to the piece underneath them. You can secure them under your bench. You can put them in through the top here. You get two different size Allen keys. This is the five millimeter and this one here actually is a larger one. I'm not sure if it's an eight or I would have to check it, but uh, this is for the larger pieces, and that is going to help you attach this clip later with the bigger screws, and I'll show you what that's for. My number one favorite use of this triangle right here. 
So these two pegs, these are the taller pegs. These come with the set. And what you do with these is you screw them right into the top of the triangle right here, this threaded inserts, okay? So you get those in there nice and snug. You don't have to over tighten them, don't kill them, just get them snug so that they don't wiggle around. Now, if you didn't have these pieces in there, then when you went to check square on your MFT like I'm gonna do, which is very important here for your cross cutting, if these weren't in there, this would just it would slide right underneath your rail, okay? So now I have my rail down in place, making sure it's secured in the pin, which it's supposed to, and I have my fence, which I think it's set to 90. If it's not, we're gonna find out real quick. And what you'll do, you butt it up against the back fence, so that's, you can see there's no, no light and no space in there. It's dead flat, right? So I'm gonna move that against there and I'm gonna slide it into my MFT Festool rail. And there, I'm hitting the rail right there. I'm hitting there, I'm hitting the back fence and I'm just gonna wiggle it a little bit right there. So now I know that I am 100% 90 degrees on this cut. If you're a custom cabinet maker or a uh, finished carpenter and everything like that, just like I am, this is very, very important for you to have a cross cut station like this that's gonna be dead on 90 every time. So you can see how I'm hitting on both with the pins and I'm dead flat against my back fence right there. Now, if I wasn't, I would loosen this up and I would adjust it so that it was perfect. But I'm not gonna touch it because you can see here, just by trying to move this back and forth, there is no movement whatsoever. Now, had something been out of whack, I would use this drill bit to show you what would happen if I wasn't 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna put this in the corner here like this. So let's pretend that that is not 90 degrees. That throws the back fence off. Now you can see if the fence wasn't 90 degrees, I'd be getting movement just like that, and then I would adjust. So by moving the fence that way and putting it back in the corner like that, you can see I'm dead on 90. So another really cool feature, one side of the triangle is metric with all your angles and degrees being the same, obviously that doesn't change. And the other side is all imperial and it still has all your angle markings. So you can use either metric or imperial, like I like to work in both, so that is perfect for me. I don't have to go and buy two triangles. So now this aluminum bar, what this does is really cool. You can take the small bolts and they sit flush inside here into a recessed hole and it bolts into the side of the triangle here. And I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna put it in place just to show you so I can save time. But that bolts right onto the bottom of the triangle like this or the side of the triangle that has pre-drilled holes that line up in those pre-drilled holes on the triangle. And what you can do there is you can take it and once it's bolted in, you can butt it up against the edge of a table or your workpiece and you can have your square and you can use it just like a speed square. What I'm doing here now is I'm putting these angle braces on. These are like L brackets right here. And these just thread right into the pre-existing holes in this triangle here. Hex key that it came with. And now, not only does it stand up on its own, but this is a great way to check to see if your parts are squared up for cabinet making. When you're putting together cabinets and you want to make sure that they stay square, put your pieces together just like this, and then you put your triangle to the edge like that, line up your pieces, and then clamp the piece in just like that. And then you can clamp the piece on the bottom or you can let it sit like that. Most of the time, if you hang it off the table a little bit off the edge, I'm doing it this way so you can see, but you would be able to clamp that in as well. Either tack nail or screw your parts in together. Well, here, another really cool feature, and this is very important here, it becomes a protractor when you attach the protractor arm. You put the dogs in place, it has a knob that comes with it that rides on this track that once you get it into, let's say 45 or let's go with a 22 and a half, those are common angles. And then you have a pin that drops it and locks it in place. So now you're at the 22 degree angle. And what you can do is when you hook this piece up right here, which I'm gonna do right now, this is a separate purchase. Remember I was telling you that it hooks up to the side of the triangle. Well, I'm gonna add those in right now and now I'm gonna show you exactly what that's for. So this little adapter plate that I'm putting on here right now is going to allow me to make this whole entire triangle into a protractor that I can use to cut with my guide rails. Now that adapter plate slides right into the guide rail. It has the piece on the bottom just like the parallel guide adapters do. Slides right in there just like that and just tighten that up on the rail. I'm gonna set it with the pin 
to 22 and a half degrees. It's a common cut, a common angle. And then I'm gonna just snug up that piece right there. Now the dogs protrude through the bottom. I'm hooked up to my guide rail. I'm gonna set it where my dogs hit the workpiece. Now they're both contacting the workpiece and I am on my 22 and a half degree angle. I'm gonna move my rail so that the guide strip is just at the edge of the material where I wanna cut it to a point, right at the edge right there. And I'm just gonna push in to make sure that I'm touching on both of these dogs right here on my piece, which I am. And now you can see here, we have our 22 and a half degree angle cut to a point on the triangle here. If you flip it over, you can see how nice that would come out if you were doing a bunch of these to make one of those crazy shapes. I don't know, a polyhexa octagon or whatever you want to call it, a decahedra, quadro. I'm not really into geometry all that much. So if you were to do a bunch of these, you can actually make a nice little shape. But this is uh, what I would use this for is to angle the track saw and cut on the angles like this and make those tapered columns that you see in front of uh, some, some of the outsides of, of houses with the four pieces all angled and coming in from the bottom as a wide sweep into the top. That looks real nice. So well that's it for the MTR18 precision triangle. That's for the set the triangle, the set, and also for the separate sustainer and the separate plate adapter for the guide rail. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you have that set, I hope I answered some questions on what you can do with this thing. Um, also, I'm going to have a link for all of this stuff in the description. That is my affiliate link with TSO Products. They are my sponsor, and uh, if you purchase any of these, you will not pay any more by purchasing through that affiliate link of mine. They're just gonna help me out a little bit in showing them that I'm doing the work for them, for being a sponsor, and also it will give me a small commission from the proceeds of the profit, and that will help me to make this channel better and keep making videos. Okay guys, I wanna thank you all for joining me in the shop. Uh, if you decide to purchase this, please check for the links in the description. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also there's a little picture of a notification bell. Make sure you hit that picture of a notification bell that will notify you every time I upload a new video. I wanna thank you guys for joining me in the shop. I got plenty more videos to come, so stay tuned.